everyone. Welcome to Stay Camp. Today we are doing Life Aquatics this week and we are making flashlight finders. So we're diving in deep and looking at what's in the abyss. So let me share my, ca uh, my other camera with you here so you can see what's on my table. Uh, let's open that up. Hope everyone's doing well today. All right, here we go. We need from your flashlight kit in your stay camp box, if you're a subscriber, you have this, a clear gallon size Ziploc bag. You'll need a piece of white cardstock. This is in the bottom of your box. And whoop, there we go. And you'll need a piece of black paper. All right. So Oh, and scissors, let's not forget all the other supplies here. And some permanent markers. These are also in the flashlight kit. These are um, the Crayola permanent markers, so they don't smell super strong, but they're gonna work. And they write on plastic, which we're going to need. All right, so let's start with our Ziploc bag. And I'm actually gonna use my piece of cardstock here first. Ooh, come on, camera. And we're gonna put it in our bag, this direction, and we're gonna draw our picture this way. So we're gonna put our paper hamburger style, and here we go, everybody got that? And then pick a marker. We're gonna draw an ocean scene. So down here would be the ocean floor, up here would be the top. And we've talked this week a lot about the different layers of the ocean or the different ocean levels. So what's in the sunlit zone, what might be in the twilight zone, what is in the midnight zone, and what might be in the abyss. So if you remember some of those creatures that we've talked about, or see, you know, fish, mammal, insect, algae, plant life, phytoplankton, whatever you're thinking about, you can add it there. So with your black marker or your colored markers, you're gonna draw your picture. So I think I might draw first, maybe down here. I'm gonna draw a whale maybe. It's kinda, it's my whale tail here. I know they have big, This one, the eye right here. Yay. Add my ocean floor. Maybe I'll put some of the different two plants I know. Hmm, maybe it's not a super deep ocean floor. Maybe I might want to add a coral reef. And we had and this rain coral growing on rocks. And I'm gonna add a little bit of color here to my whale. Seems a little purpley. Do that for kind of the shadow spot on it. And then I have blue marker here. Some blue maybe to my whale. And my coral, a little bit of red. We can use the pictures that we had in our slideshow about um, different ocean levels if you want to go back and look at that to see some ideas or examples of different ocean life. That's a great place to look. All right, and I rock a little detail here. And, ooh, maybe I'm gonna put, we saw otters. I'm gonna draw a little otter here. Give me some whiskers. 
got some other fish. There's the dorsal fin and the pectoral fin. Have fun with this. Draw some really cool fish. Think about what you might see. Give them some color. All right. When you finish decorating that, when you finish making your scene, we're gonna pull out this white page and we're gonna put in the black page. Okay, now let's set this off to the side and come back to this one. Okay, so now we're ready to make our flashlight. This is gonna be fun. So if you have a pencil, you might wanna sketch in your flashlight first. I'm gonna draw my handle. It has a little button on it, right? And the light part of my flashlight, I'm gonna draw an ellipse, kind of a flattened circle here to show where the light would be. Then I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines out from my light. Cool. And I can use my permanent markers on this, but you could also use your Crayola markers that you have in your box or your other markers. Either one's fine. Color in my light. Color in my flashlight handle. Give it some detail here. Maybe it's got a lines on its handle, you know, like the grip of your flashlight. And I'm gonna make it a fun color as well. I'm gonna add some red, one of those Energizer, Duracell. I have these in my emergency kit, looking underwater. I mean, looking down deep, kind of flashlight. There we go, <clears throat> color. Okay, here's the fun part. Now you're gonna need your scissors. And I'm gonna cut out my flashlight handle. Carefully along the edge. And then I'm gonna follow this line right here. And I'm gonna cut on the inside of it, right there. So I don't want the big black line. I want kind of fairly faintly or not at all there. Ta -da. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Let's cut that one out. Here we go. Same thing. I'm gonna cut on the inside of it. Cut my little button out for my flashlight. Trim up the other edge. There it is. Okay, let's move my scrap paper out of the way. I can save that for something else if I need it. Okay, here is my ocean scene. Here's my flashlight. Here's the really cool magic part. I'm gonna put my flashlight in. Ooh, ho, ho, there we go. And now I can shed some light on my ocean scene. If this feels too wide, if your light feels too wide, mine feels a little wide. I might narrow down my, my beam, give it a little focus. That'll be good. Cut off this side maybe a little bit more too. Ooh, I like the shape of that. It's a little like it's bending a bit in the water. Here we go. Now I can put it back in. Ah, oh, there's my otter. There's my fish, some coral. Maybe you do some tube worms down here on the bottom or a vent that you might have. So there you go, be creative, have fun, and you can make your own flashlight finder this week. Um, hopefully you see us at State Camp After School. You can subscribe online. You can join us whenever, drop on in, in the afternoons, 2.30 to 4, and uh, check out our calendar, see what else is going on. Look forward to seeing you all there.